All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord, and we are going to jump right into this one and give you guys a recap of the 2023 Vancouver Pro Men's Open Division. And I think everyone can finally say uh, we have a sigh of relief here that Hassan finally gets a win in 2023, taking first at this show. And um, I think it was well deserved. Hassan came in in shape. He was much tighter. He was much drier. And he was able to punch his ticket to the 2023 Mr. Olympia this November. And I'm excited to see him on stage. He worked his ass off to get there. And this, if this doesn't show you anything about being persistent and consistent and to never give up on your goal and your dreams, this is it right here. Hassan Mustafa wins the 2023 Vancouver Pro. Close battle. Close battle with Stan uh, coming in second. Awesome showing for Nate Spear coming in third. Prince coming in fourth. And then we have Morgan coming in fifth. And then Aaron coming in sixth. So this wasn't a deep lineup. We only had six guys in the men's open. But all of them came in shape. All of them came to battle. And that at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So like I said, it was definitely a battle between Stan and Hassan. Uh, but what I think made the difference and gave Hassan the slight edge is that Hassan finally came in a, a tad bit drier than he was at the Orlando Pro. And he still had that fullness and that, that sharp look. He had, you know, vascularity still going throughout the body. So he was, he did enough. He did enough to win. I still think Hassan can improve for the Olympia. Um, as for Stan, Stan always has been coming in peeled for these shows. Maybe slightly improved here as well for Stan. Um, he just is not at the same level from a size-wise game as Hassan is. But he's got the, a great aesthetic look to his physique. He comes in shape. He always puts on a great show for everyone. So this was just really good to see these two guys battling it out and um, enjoying their time up there on stage. It's just great to see. These two go at it, but at the end of the day, Hassan was able to edge Stan out. So what does Hassan need to do in order to place in that top 10 at the Olympia this year? I think he just needs to continue to maybe drop another five pounds, just tighten up even more, come in a little bit more streamlined because he is somewhat blocky. He's very compact, like pound for pound. He's one of the most muscular bodybuilders I've seen in a long time. So he just needs to kind of streamline that physique as best he can, work with what he what he has. It, it looks like him and Chad Nichols uh, have got it down. And each show, they seem to have been improving on his condition and drying him out more and more. So it's good to see. It's good to see a good team come together and finally figure it out. And so if, if Hassan can just nail it for the Olympia, come in a few pounds lighter, and drier and sharper more crisp he's definitely going to make a run for that top 10 coming in this year at the 2023 mr olympia i gotta say i'm really impressed with stan show to show he's made improvements he knows how to get peeled and, and shredded for shows he's a great presenter he's moved up the rank so he started in men's physique went to classic physique now he's in men's open and he's placing in the top three and the top five so awesome to see Stan just needs to get a little bit bigger, put on some more size in the quads and the hamstrings and the upper body for sure. And I could see him, you know, doing some damage in the near future and being on that Mr. Olympia stage very soon. Now, here's some shots of uh, Nate Spear. Again, this guy continues to improve show to show. Uh, we had the honor of having Nate on the Muscle Discord podcast not too long ago and while well, he was prepping for another show. And, you know, the only thing with Nate that I, I think he needs to work on is just bringing up the legs just a little bit more. He did push Stan, you know, he did give Stan a run for his money in this show. And his conditioning was almost on par with Stan, but it just looked like he was just a little less crisp. And if he would have come in more crisp, it could have went to Nate. Like you can see, they have similar physiques, but what I can, the, what I'm seeing here is that Stan just is a tad bit more crisp. You can see in the midsection, his midsection is a little tighter. The, the muscle looks a little harder and sharper than when you look to Nate. It's a little bit softer. 
um, but it's it's very very close and then when you turn around to the back again here's where you can see that stand is just slightly more conditioned slightly harder you can see in the upper back the separation there's just a little bit more width to stands back versus nate you can see the glutes and the hamstrings nate is lacking a little bit of that hardness and crispness that uh, stan has so that's it that's it it's so close nate is right on the edge nate could have been second at this show if he was just a tad bit sharper now here we have prince another canadian bodybuilder who placed fourth here not a lot of uh, video footage or even photos out yet of him but just some back shots that we have here and you can see his conditioning compared to stan and nate is just a little off i think if this guy does another show he can move up he just needs to tighten up again here even in the back double bicep really really round muscle bellies he's got good hamstring and glute development he's got calves i mean really a great physique again comes in sharper this guy's going to do some damage and coming in fifth here morgan mcdonald another canadian bodybuilder and you know this guy looked good he came in good shape you know he put on a good show he's a taller athlete so he just needs to continue to fill, uh, fill out that frame and um, you know i don't know how he would fare and say a more deeper lineup show where you have you know 12 or 13 guys in the show would he have placed in the in the top six or the top five in my opinion maybe not but at this show you know there's only six guys in the top in the lineup so he did end up getting fifth spot so good for morgan and i hope to uh see more all right and rounding out the top six we have aaron another canadian athlete uh this guy was maybe one of the most shredded guys in the show but he's just lacking some size as you can see here um didn't get any stage video from him that i wanted to use i just wanted to kind of show you guys his conditioning he looks great needs to add more size to the legs but great for him getting top six in a pro show all right guys we'll wrap it up here again awesome to see hassan finally get a, his big win and punch his ticket to the mr olympia overall great show you know leave your comments below do you agree with the placings do you think stan should have maybe edged out hassan or maybe even nate maybe should have beat out stan like what are your thoughts give us your opinion we want to know we love to have the discussion with you guys and, and give your feedback so we will catch you guys on the next one peace hey guys thanks for watching if you like this episode give us a thumbs up leave a comment and click the bell notification so you get notified every time we release a new episode we appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next one peace